Mikhail Allen, the five-year-old boy that was molded by a pack of dogs in St. Anne's, Jamaica, has left to the United States to receive well-needed medical treatment. Hi again and welcome. This is Link Sablo 7 TV Let's Talk and we're about to discuss this on the program. We ask you please remember like, share, subscribe to the channel, click that notification bell so you're notified whenever we post new videos. We'll be right back after this short break. Welcome back and thanks for joining us for the program. This is Link Sablo 7 TV. Let's talk. This is the place where you get the best in local and international news update. We also try to provide you with credible information. So if you want information that is out there and current information, this is the place to be. We always try our very best or 100% best to put credible and informative information out there to you, the general public. So thanks for joining us once more for the wonderful program that we have here. So what I want to talk about today is five-year-old Mikhail Allen, a young boy that was attacked by a pack of dogs and seriously injured over there in St. Anne's, Jamaica. So the family have been left devastated with this news. And even though this is said, a number of Jamaicans have so far come forward in order to assist this individual with receiving well-needed medical um, treatment that is slated to take place in the United States. So we're about now to just bring you up to date with the latest report that we have to bring to you on this. So Mikhail Allen, the five-year-old boy who was attacked and molded by a pack of dogs over there in St. Anne's, Jamaica, and this took place last Sunday, has left the island to receive further medical treatment over there in the United States. Now this came as welcoming news to the family and also concerned citizens that we're really hoping that he make a speedy recovery. He was seriously injured and I was able to obtain some clips of the actual incident and I can tell you that this boy, he was seriously injured by these dogs. I can't understand how people out there will have dogs such as these that are so vicious and cruel, especially to a child just wandering on the street. And now I've received reports that these dogs were hauled in by the authorities and they would be put down based on the fact that they committed such a grievous and heinous act on this little boy. So it is understood that a group of Jamaicans organized for the boy's mother to be transported to the United States and this is at a medical facility in the United States for the medical procedure to be done there. The five-year-old Mikhail Allen regained consciousness on Monday, I'm told, after he was beaten all over his body, including his head, seriously injured by at least six dogs as he returned home from a shop in the community that is located in the Alexandria area of the parish. It is later understood that the child was transferred from the Sentence Bay Medical Facility and that's the Sentence Bay Hospital where he was initially being treated for the injuries he received from the pack of dogs that molded him. The child was later transferred to the Boston Mante Children Hospital in St. Andrew where it was expected that he would have undergo a plastic surgery to repair part of his head that was seriously damaged. It is still unclear whether or not that medical procedure was performed at that medical facility or this was the reason why he was transferred to the United States for this to be done. As I further reported earlier that three of the dogs that was reportedly involved in the molding of the five-year-old boy were taken into custody by the Society of Prevention of Cruelty to Animals with the assistance of the owners of these animals and the local police force. In relation to the probe into the incident, head of the St. Anne's Police Superintendent Carlos Russell confirmed on Monday that several statements had been collected including one of the persons among the owners of the dogs that was involved in the horrific incident that took place to this individual and the police have so far identified the owners of the others as well. So the police are currently carrying out a massive investigation in order to ascertain what really led to the dogs being involved in such a vicious act. So can you just imagine how this child must have felt when he was attacked by these dogs 
on his way back from a shop in the community and he was seriously injured by these pack of dogs and it was just the mercy that he actually survived the whole entire scenario that took place. So it is reported that sometime after 1 p.m. on Sunday, the child was on his way home from a shop where he was sent by his grandmother in order to purchase item at a nearby shop in the community when this unfortunate situation occurred. Well, it's very good to see that some Jamaicans now have came together and they have footed the bill in order for him to be transported to the United States in order to receive this well-needed medical treatment. Because I can tell you that I have spoken to a number of individuals who had basically seen the entire footage and also actual pictures of what transpired and i can tell you based on what they have recounted to me that this boy is actually lucky to be alive at one point in time the child was unconscious during the whole entire situation and it's very unclear what led these dogs to commit this vicious act on this child but it's good to know that he is receiving medical treatment over there in the united states and that someone has foot the bill in order for this to be done because whether or not this was to be done in jamaica i don't know whether or not he would have survived this ordeal and i can tell you that the family is very grateful at this time and they are just taking this opportunity just to thank the general public for their kind words and also the kind gestures and also prayers that have been going up for this child during this current moment as the family try to bear with this difficult and unpleasant news but what transpired to this child was very sad and unfortunate and i can just imagine what the mother and the families are going through at this current moment based on the fact that he was just on his way from shop when this unfortunate situation occurred and it's just the mere luck that he actually survived and also could even recount what transpired to him now he's in the united states right now and he's to be treated over there and we try our very best just to keep you up to date with this story and it's very good to know that he will be receiving well-needed medical treatment and it's very good to see that these people came together in order to assist the parent in him accessing this vital necessity that was needed for him to actually survive so we'll try our very best of us to keep you up to date with this story and this was just a very sad situation that transpired to five-year-old Mikhail Allen over there in St. Anne's and he was transferred from one medical facility to another he was admitted at the sentence bay hospital and based on his condition he was then transferred to the boston Manti children hospital in saint angel where he was said to be treated at that medical facility as well but based on the severity of his injuries the medical staff there decided that the best possible option for his life to be saved was that he received medical treatment overseas and this was done and he left the Sanctuary international airport yesterday afternoon to new york in order to be treated and we'll try over our best just to keep you up to date with that and the latest to come on this story but we're just hoping that he does make a speedy recovery and we're just asking that the family, especially the mother, does be strong during this difficult time and does remain focused as your son will be all right. So try to just keep you up to date with this one. And this has been Links 7 TV. Let's talk. And I believe I believe in this one here for now. You can just drop it in the comment section though. How do you feel about this story? And we look forward to hear from you. This has been Links 7 TV. Let's talk. And we believe we're going to leave this one here for now. Thanks for watching. Peace out. Bless.